They say millennials are changing the world. And here behind me, I have something named after the millennium that could do the same for the defense industry. It's the C390 millennium brought to you by Embraer. And we're joined now by the Chief Commercial Officer of Embraer Defense. That's Frederico Lemos. Frederico, welcome to the program. So tell us about the C390. First of all, I'd like to say that we are thrilled to be here at Dubai Air Show. It's the third edition that the C390 Millennium is present over here. The C390 Millennium is living an excellent moment in terms of sales. After the Brazilian Air Force that was the first customer, we had Portugal, Hungary, Netherlands, Czech Republic and Austria have all selected the C390. Uh, it's, we are moving with the deliveries. The Portuguese Air Force has just taken delivery of the first airplane. The first also in a NATO configuration. So we are seeing a lot of progress, both in the production, introduction into service and sales for the C390. Now that's quite interesting, isn't it? Because we know NATO have found this to be a very attractive prospect. Uh, we've also seen a number of Gripen operating countries that uh, want it. I know you do refueling. Just tell us a little bit about the platform. But can you tell us, are you going to get it to be able to uh, refuel the Gripen? <laughs> well, Definitely the, the C390 brings a lot of value. It's the capability, the multi-mission and the low life cycle cost of the type. In the multi-mission aspect, aerial refueling is one of the capabilities. All the C390 that came out of the production line, they have this capability to refuel both jet fighters as helicopters. We have done already the integration of the F5 for the aerial refueling and, and the Gripen is in the line to be the next one to be integrated and certified to do the aerial refueling. So the multi-mission is one of the key pillars besides the airlift, airdrop, parachute, para, paratroopers dropping. We can also do maritime surveillance, search and rescue and the aerial refueling capability. That's incredibly impressive and I've seen you've had a number of visitors here at the Dubai Air Show. What do you think the chances are for the Middle East and Africa market? We've been testing the aircraft in this region for a long time, since the beginning in the development. We believe that is the right fit for the needs of the region. It sits very well in terms of capability, speed, productivity. So we are very hopeful of good progress in terms of sales also in the region. A lot of interest. We've been flying here a lot, that I can say. Fantastic. And I want to move on to another one of your products that we've got behind us that has been drawing interest. That's the Super Tucano. Tell us how that's doing. Well, the Super Tucano has 15 operators around the world. We have more than 200 units already produced and all around the globe, since the Americas, Africa, Asia. And we also see a lot of prospects here for the Middle East. We re recently launched the A29N that is the NATO version, meeting all the interoperability requirements for the NATO countries. And we see missions like close air support, uh, surveillance and training as the key missions for the A29. And we believe that is a proven product with a long life into the future. Federico, thank you very much. <laughs>